And when I click this button here, you see that there are a bunch of sub tabs are getting or being opened. So what are these tabs? I'll be taking you through each of them in each video, but let's start with this sum pad. So if we click on 3D sum pad, by the way, this is the, before we do that, let's do, let's take a look at it. So if I make it a bit larger, what I'm seeing here, this part is the is sun part or where we look, where we see the sun. These are the uh, daily hours of visible of visible hours of sun, let's say. This is the date, so we can say summer solstice at noon, or you can slide this, and when you slide this, you see that sun position moves as well. This is hemispheric, angular, or stereographic, meaning 2D. Okay, and all this information can be exported as an image. I'll talk about that as well, but let's take a look at on like let's say 3 p.m with angular and let's open up a 3d sound pad when i click on 3d sound pad you see it creates something however it's super small so the radius is now 20 so if i make it 50 still super small 250 super small still not super but small 500 might be the one that i'm working needing or 750 so that we know what is happening and if i click on shadows this is really nice because when we click on shadows it activates cs shadows uh view type or display mode this display mode comes when you install the climate studio so you don't need to do anything and when you click when you change the slider you see that the angles are changing of our shadow. So if I take this into winter solstice at, I don't know, like 3 p.m., you see we have long shadows. And when I turn this off, everything goes off except shadows. Shadows are there. We don't see the, we don't see the 3D sun pad, but we see the motion of the shadow. So you can have that as well. And when you have the shot, when you have the sun pad, you easily can try trace where sun is going in and out. And please be careful with this. When there's when sun is not visible, it goes off. When sun is visible, we see the shadows. But once we don't have any sun, visible sun vector, sun or the everything goes to the dark. So that's pretty much that's pretty much what you can do but obviously like by using grasshopper you can create the animations of this so and so forth but one thing to pay attention here so if i click here export plot what this does is basically how like we you can export this and you can export this view as well but you can export this as a png or pdf you can have it like 80 by 60 font size scalar so if i type 2 here you'll see that my text gets bigger if i make it one again and if i make line weight scalar 2 i'll have larger line weights 1.4 maybe okay and i say okay i can go to my id crafts folder climate studio basics and as you see it's named as Madrid Barajas Suarez Aeroporto underscore Sunpath dot PNG. So when I save this, uh, what I'll be seeing, if I go to my Climate Studio Basics, I come over here, you see I have my uh, Sunpath as exported. Obviously, what I can do, I can come over here and then with the same Sunpath, I can make this. Like maybe I can uh, take this off if preferred and have a view of, not sure if I have the name views. Like let's have an isometric view, something like this. Okay. And by the way, this is the background color. So you can have it, you can leave it as it is. And then I can say 
capture this and we can capture this but you see the compass is over here so let's turn off the compass maybe and then again go to id crafts view capture instead of view capture some path 3b put it in and if i take this if i right click to this can i see anything no it doesn't show me that so if i come over here see i have this but all right so there is still a small problem probably uh but that is pretty much that is pretty much what we are going to do for this one so uh yeah and i'll see you in the next one where we are taking a closer look other site analysis tools in Final studio